Oh, so I hop inside of my Mercedes and let the bass go. On you hating ass niggas, I deserve everything I get a creating cash get a I ain't put Stop the bitching, stop the presses, stop the whining. Here we go. All right. I've been waiting to talk about this. I know I'm about like three or four days late, but I mean, I wasn't, I'm not, I'm never home during the weekend or the weekdays. I know I've been talking about this on Twitter, but for those who don't follow me on Twitter, well, here we go. So in case you don't know, which I'm sure a lot, all you guys know by now, um, oh my God, this freaking capture gallery fucking sucks. Look how glitchy it is. Okay. There we go. Okay. So. The 2018 NASCAR Monster Energy All-Star Race has been uh, revealed the other day to the public and it's going to be a brand new race which I mean I don't really care if you guys are curious because uh, the reason why I don't care because I change it every fucking year. If you guys are curious go ahead and search it up for yourself. I don't want to talk about that. I'm here to talk about this one uh, controversial topic everyone's talking about is that the thing that really blew my mind is that these guys as, uh, at a mile and a half track which is Charlotte Motor Speedway the all-star race the cup guys the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series is gonna be using restricted plates the only two tracks that these guys use restricted plates is of course Daytona and Talladega and there's a lot of controversy and a lot of backlash a lot of bitching from the newer fans and the older fans and am I the only one who's actually excited for this fucking race now? At a mile and a half track, how one is one of my least favorite tracks on the schedule, which I think I put them in my top ten, on my top ten worst NASCAR tracks. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't last year's Xfinity race at Indy did not use the same or similar aero package that race? And one of the most boring races of the schedule ended up being one of the most exciting races of the year. Uh, Dale Jarrett from uh, Hall of Famer slash NBC analyst said that if I, I don't remember, I'm just paraphrasing. I, I'm just going off what he's, I remember uh, hearing. But before that race, before they used the aero package, that aero package that uh, the Xfinity ran last summer at Indy, I think there was like a record of a, like eight lead changes that race. Not a lot. That uh, until 2017, they had I think 16 or 17. That's a lot. And I remember watching that race. I'm like, damn, this is a good race. These guys are like racing at Daytona and Talladega. They're not getting spread out. A lot of side by side. A lot of passing going on. I mean, higher speeds. Like these guys, these race cars are going. They're becoming Indy cars. They're going over 200. Hell, even close to 210 miles per hour going into corners. You saw Kyle Larson last Sunday when he was going into turn one uh, Texas Motor Speedway, cut a uh, right front and just went flying hard into the uh, outside wall. Thank God for safety barriers and saw the damage he did to the shoulder. He got a big ass bruise. Good thing, I mean, good thing he's a tough motherfucker. But, dude, these guys are going, these, these race cars are like any cars now. They're going high, they can't freaking pass. They're getting spread out way too easily. I mean, with these restrictor plays, it'll at least take longer for these guys to get spread uh, spread out. Or even to get spread out, you guys have to do green flag pit stops. And I think nobody's crediting NASCAR for actually taking a chance for in a non-points race. This is a non-points race. The All-Star race is a all up for money. You, the winner wins a million bucks. The other drivers, well, you get some money, but not a million bucks. Dude. This is just a race for fun, all for money, all for pride, all for what you worked your life to be a race car driver. Dude, I don't get it. Why are people complaining about this? I say, fuck it. Let's try it. And you know what? I think it will work. And if it does work, the week after the All-Star Race, when it, goes, when it comes to the Coke 600, it better be that same damn package. And for the rest of the year, when they go to the mile and a half tracks no and no don't use fucking restrictor plates at martinsville or bristol for fuck's sake you guys are joking around with that i don't think nascar is that dumb but of course we've seen nascar in the past and wow i hope you guys are just listening to my voice and not watching this video because this is just freaking ridiculous how glitchy this capture card is but um maybe i'll play some nascar hate 2 this weekend maybe i'll get some new gameplay in for you guys
We'll see. But, um, you know, I, even last year's All-Star Race, when they had that new tire combination, uh, you know, I get, I even said it in last year's video. I gave NASCAR A for effort, but D for results. It didn't work out the way we hoped it would be, but I at least applaud them for trying. I mean, obviously, the sport, the competition is not where it used to be. We saw last uh, last week at Texas Motor Speedway towards the end of the race, Harvick was, I think, he would have the, the faster car than Kyle Busch. When he got uh, behind Kyle Busch uh, with the closing laps, once he got right behind him, he couldn't get around him because of the block of air or whatever. Air it's all the aerodynamics. That's how what these cars are. But with the restrictor plates, I mean, the only thing, restrictor plates, when they race at Daytona and Talladega, they got it hands down. The, the, restri the races at Daytona and Talladega the past few years has been the best it's ever been, if you ask me. So they got that figure out, and thank God they're not messing around with that. I think if they can use that into these kind of tracks, I think it can work. I mean, if it doesn't work, well, at least they tried. I mean, I, I at least applaud NASCAR for doing it in a non-points race. I mean, I don't know, understand why. I even said on Twitter the other day, what is the most annoying uh, sports, fan, uh, sports fan base? Is it the Dallas Cowboys or some of these NASCAR fans? I mean... I'm actually calling out my own NASCAR fan, uh, my own sport. <laughs> oh, and by the way, uh, Cowboy fan, don't hurt yourself too much. Uh, you guys got 3.5 million cap space with the release of Des Bryant today. <laughs> Jerry Jones actually had to get rid of his freaking, one of his favorite sons. Oh, man. I can't, I was at Applebee's today watching that, and I saw the breaking news came up on TV, and it says Cowboy releasing Des Bryant. I'm like, holy shit, it actually happened. But, um. Anyway, so yeah, I, I'm actually excited for this race now. I'm looking forward to it. I just hope, if, if it does work, which I think it will, if I hear it comes back on because we got a freaking winter storm coming in the middle of fucking April. If it works, let's do it at other tracks for the rest of the year and, and for the future. Alright, I'm going to get on out of here. You guys have a great weekend. Peace! Shadow shaded lights. I'm speeding like Ricky Bobby through the Talladega night. Club jumping. I'm watching the sun dump from day into the night. I'm wondering, got to do something. This play a player night.